Hello everyone! So today I'm going to run an experiment. And what I am going to do is that I am going to grab these two jars that I have here. And in these two jars, I have two completely different mycelium. I have Lion's Mane and I have Pink Oyster. And what I am going to do is I am going to grab them and put them in this block. So my idea here is I want to see when both of these organisms find each other in this block. As both of them should be fighting for the same nutrition that is in this block. So I want to see if something happens when they meet with each other, when they are colonizing the block. And I also want to see what will happen when we start to grow the mushrooms. As, I don't know, they may grow faster because they are under the pressure of other organisms in the same block. So they are fighting for survival and they may just want to grow faster so they can reproduce faster. So my idea here is that I am going to press one side of the block and I am going to put the grain in one side and then what I am going to do is basically the same for the other side so I am going to first put one grain in one side of the block and then I will press the block to the other side and put the other grain on the other side Now that the block is complete, I just need to seal it and get it into the incubation room and wait for the mycelium to start growing. So our block has been colonizing for 12 days. It's still not fully colonized, but it's actually quite close. You can notice too that the pink oyster pretty much colonized more block than Lion's Man, which I was a little bit expecting to happen. But still seems like there is literally a dividing line you can see here, you can probably see better. Where the pink oyster is creating is like dividing line with the Lion's Man. You can see the pink, I don't know if you can really see the pink on camera, but there is a pink line in here, dividing both myceliums. Really cool, seems like the bottom is not really colonized yet. I will see if I can get Lion's Mane and Pink Oyster of this block. So as you can see, our block is now fully colonized. We have Pink Oyster in this side, we have Lion's Mane on this side. And what I am going to do right now is I am going to do a slit on both sides of the block. Let's see if we can get some mushrooms out of it. Have a little bit of pink oyster here, maybe. Can get some pink oyster and lion's mane in the same side. Who knows? So our block is ready, and now we are just going to put it here in the grow room and wait for mushrooms to grow. 11 days have passed, and this is what we got. So this is on the pink oyster side, as you can see. We got quite some mushrooms on this side beautiful pink oyster, but on the other side of the block something unexpected actually happened. Look at this. So this is lion's mane, as you can clearly see. We got some lion's mane in here. But this, what is this thing? This is weird. It has a weird texture. It looks like a pink oyster, 
but at the same time it looks like a lion's mane I really don't know what what happened here I wasn't really expecting anything crazy to happen because mushrooms in nature it's very rare for a log to just be with just one mushroom growing on it for sure but looks like something actually did happen the first thing that I can definitely notice is of course this weird thing but the other thing is that the lion's mane is growing really slow which is actually not normal for at least this particular strain it generally grows really fast now the pink oyster seems to be moving at the regular speed that it always grows quite fast but this lion's mane strain grows really fast too and it's growing really slow now for some reason and there is this weird thing going on in here which is weird too if I were going to do this test again I wouldn't do the cuts on one side of the block and on the other side of the block I would probably cut literally where both myceliums meet because it seems like that is the place where crazy thing happened because on this side there was a little bit of pink oyster going in this area close to the lion's mane so there was pink oyster really close to the lion's mane on this side and I guess this is a weird mix something weird happened definitely in here but seems fine on this side pink oyster nothing special to see really cool if you know or have any idea of what happened here post it down in the comments also if you like this type of content you can follow the channel and you can check my instagram for some sneak peeks of what i am working on don't forget to check the humidifier and i'll see you on the next one